we did something not too bright. Look at that. Floating wood. Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to our off-grid cabin build here in North Idaho. Later on in the video, I will show you the results of my skim coating attempt there. And the wall, the paint's all dry. Let's cruise outside, guys. We got some different things going on today. Whoa, dude, that's so deep. We got a late start this morning, guys. We had a late night. We um, had game night down at the uh, Sandpoint Church of Christ. Invited people, all right, friends to come and play games. So we were up kind of late doing that and getting home. But we got a ton of snow the other day. I didn't get a chance to show you it in the video like in detail of how much snow we got. But then yesterday it rained all day. Today, it's gonna rain all day. Tomorrow, rain, right? Until Tuesday, I think. Uh, so look at, look at what's happening here. We did something not too bright. There's our woodshed. And this is our lake. This is Lake Johnson. I don't think anybody mentioned it in the comments, so nobody can join the I told you so club. But man, <sighs> our wood is floating. Look at that. Floating wood. Thankfully, right, it's just the bottom layer or two of wood there, which could be, I don't know, maybe a quarter of a cord or so. Just checking to see if it comes all the way around the back of the woodshed. Bam, and it does. So I'm wondering if we can shovel this off here and maybe it'll continue on traveling down. I don't know. This is like the lowest spot. I wasn't too bright, guys keeping the wood here. But that's where the tent was, you know? We're like, I gotta take the easy way. <clears throat> Leave the tent there, just put the wood in the tent. My, my thought was to move it up closer to the house. But that was gonna be a lot of work. Well, now we got a lot of wet, wet wood. So we got different projects we're gonna try to do outside today, in the wet, in the rain. But some things that need to get done. So this car's dead. Hopefully she just left the light on or something in it. So I gotta jump her car, get that figured out. We gotta move some stuff around and get ready for what's coming, which is feet of snow. Huh? Sether, yeah. dude, the wood is floating. I know. That's crazy. Hey, Seth, yeah. will you do us a favor, please? Yeah. See like this path here? Yeah. I, I'm guessing, okay, I don't know for sure. The water goes all the way behind the woodshed. And so what if we dig a trench mm -hmm. through the snow out to the road that goes down? Maybe this water will just, will flow out. Like kind of look at the lowest lay of the land and see if we can dig a trench. Kind of look at it and tell me what you think. You don't have to do it right now. Yeah. Maybe I'll help you do it later. Yeah. But, um, but let's see, look at it and give me your opinion on where we ought to dig the trench to get the water to flow out. Okay. okay? I mean, that, that was where the kitchen was. I know, that's the lowest spot. always a big puddle right there. I know, but there's a lot more of a big puddle there now. Oh yeah. All right, thanks, Beth. Yeah. I'm gonna go work on Sarah's car. <sighs> Let's go do Sarah's car first. Tree right there came down in the snow the other day. Big pondish thing right there, right here. Oh boy. Hi, Julie Joes. Hi. That's a big puddle right there. Yeah, it's huge. It's pretty deep. All right, let's try it here. It? Yeah, I did. I popped it. Well, there's power some. But it won't turn over. All right. We're gonna have to jump it. We got some jumper cables. Go ahead and oh, come on. We can't see your face. Got some jumper cables here. <laughs> Go ahead and try to jump Sarah's car. Hopefully, just something was left on, and it's not the battery gone bad. It's been it, down a little bit more. But it looks like the battery's been in there for quite a while. Uh. 
All right, give that a second, and uh, go ahead and give it a try and try to start. Hi, Chester. Pause it. All right, let's give it a try and see what happens. We got it. But it doesn't sound very good. Sounds like maybe the alternator's going out, like the bearing in it. Thankfully though, it looks like it's super easy to fix. But we'll see, we'll let it run, let it warm up, let it charge, turn it off and see if the battery's dead again tomorrow. If it is, then we'll have to take it in and get the battery and the alternator load tested. Which is cool, you can do it for free at like AutoZone. See what the problem is and fix it. Show them our homemade window scraper. All right. <laughs> a piece of OSB. <laughs> it's perfect. It's gonna be fun to see if we can get this little guy out of here. Do you need me to push it from the front? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> It'll be fun just to try. It has studded tires on it. Yeah. But the snow is pretty deep, so. And it's been sitting here for days. Yeah. But if we can get it into the ruts, I think I think we can do it. We'll find out. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around. See it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. Did you shut it off? Uh, yeah. Oh no. Come on. See if it starts. Oh, good. Let it run a little while. Yeah. So it was kind of fun. It did pretty good. A little spin in, but it did really good. Yeah. The snow was so deep that it was scraping along the bottom of the car. Oh yeah. It's so and so we'll have to shovel that out and but that'll be a good spot for her to park in the winter because it's not a whole bunch of shoveling and then we'll park here and we'll put the trailer over there and then we can just have like this parking area right up here by the road. Let me show you the road. All right, this is the driveway and uh, I'll show you the road. Whew. This is our road right here. We'll be parked right there really close to the road. Yeah, it's wet. It's wet, man. Okay, cool. First task for the day done. Ducks, are you cold? <laughs> the other day. <laughs> oh, buddy. Hey, check it out. Look. Look here. Yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> the other day, Tux was running full speed in the snow, and then I guess he hit a little hole or something. He just face planted. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> And he just got right back up and headed full speed again. Jules is gonna go get the car and we'll hook the trailer up to it and then uh, get the trailer out here, get the tote off of it because uh, once it stops raining, we need to go get our refrigerator and 
stove. Put the tote over here, we'll keep it here. I don't know how we're gonna transfer water once it starts really snowing deep. We'll figure it out though. It'll be a fun adventure. Check out the roof up there, man. Yikes. That snow does not want to slide off of that underlayment. Be really cool if we could get that snow down and then we could maybe add some more roofing before we get the next big snow, but we'll have to see. I kind of doubt it. I think it's going to be like that until spring. All right, let's check her out. Four wheel drive. She's making it over the thing and keeping it going. Yay! Just keep the momentum going. It's great. It's beautiful. Do that. It's a chilly one out here. All right, you need to go that way and come back. That way and come back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're... Okay, that's good. Yep, that's good. Leave it there. I should have come back further. Oh, well, that's much closer. Yeah. Great. Almost 40. That's not too bad. Uh -oh. Having a warm spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, though, I'd rather have it snowing than raining. Me too. Totally. Snow's dry. Yeah. I'd rather have it all frozen than wet. All right. You or me? Go ahead. I'm recording, so I'll okay. just follow you. Going to move this guy up next to, well, not quite next to Sarah, but... Up towards the front, anyways. Make it a lot easier to get get in and out. Slushy. Nice, look at that. Everything's in line now. Maxine definitely isn't white compared to the snow. No. <laughs> Tex. <laughs> right. Wherever there's warmth, I want to be yeah. there. Yeah, look at, look at where Sarah's car like flattened the snow. Yeah. We'll yeah, it's really low to the ground, huh? Yeah, we'll have to dig that out. Or she'll have to dig that out. <laughs> We have a really nice neighbor though, Jay, because he he keeps that road plowed pretty good. Yeah. And then he comes, he will come in here too and push it out that way. So that's pretty nice. For sure. <laughs> For sure. I told you guys we would take a very close up look at this wall right here. It was our first time ever doing a skim coat on the wall. And we're about 10 feet away right now. Mm. It looks pretty good. From this distance, 
I can, can't see any flaws in it. But if you get up close, you have a really bright light shining across it like this, you can see some stuff. Right here, arm's distance, you guys are on the wall right now. So this far away from the wall, you can start seeing some little things. You can see right here, you got a little difference right there. Um, hmm, there's something right here. I don't know what happened there. You can see these little scratches. Wait, I gotta get it the right angle here for you guys. Right there, you can see these scratches that were in it. And here's the biggest one. This is the biggest thing that you can see is that scratch right there. But, right, right here, uh, six feet away, you can barely see it with the naked eye. So it came out really good, guys. We used a semi-gloss paint on this. And we went with semi-gloss because this is the kitchen area, right? If you get like oil or something on it, you can clean it off fairly easy. I don't really like the shininess of semi-gloss, but that's what we put in here for now. We can always change that later. The ceiling, right, looks really good. I cannot see any flaws in the ceiling. I guess, I don't know if it's really a flaw or not, but the tape, the paint texture, right? There's a, there's a texture to the paint and that's probably because of the roller that we used. And so maybe a finer roller would get a finer finish on it, but mm, it came out pretty good. Let's check out this wall over here. All right, so we got that guy there. Ooh, okay, let's see what we can see here. Um, you can see the paintbrush marks in it, really. That's kind of the biggest thing that I can notice, paintbrush marks. Um, maybe a run right here. But you can see some variation in it a little bit. The stuff that was like in the paint stuck on the wall. These things right here were in the paint. But yeah, all right, paintbrush marks all down here. But besides that, it came out really good, Hi. really good. So that's gonna be awesome, guys. We're going to finish up cleaning up the floor here. I'm gonna finish working on the bathroom. And then we're just gonna set the cabinets in their boxes where they go. So let's get cracking. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life. I wanna make it count on it. Come on now and take my hand. Yeah, we only get one life. I wanna make it count on it. Come on now and take my hand. Check out the bathroom. Wow, check it out. It's all taped. Everything's taped. Let's get to the bathroom and it's coming out good. Uh, it's functional and taped. We'll continue on with the process of perfecting the bathroom. And yeah, I know, right? I had to take that down and then tape it and then put it back up. I had to take the sink out, right? Tape it, put the sink back. I didn't have to take the toilet out, I taped it behind it. But eventually, as we get further along in the process, we will have to remove the toilet to work behind it. But I guess that's just kind of the consequences of living in a place that you're actually working on, right? It's coming out good. Check out the kitchen. We got our cabinets set in their boxes, just kind of where they go, kind of give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. So refrigerator is gonna go right here, right? Then there is, um, an 18 inch cabinet here, this is just a bunch of drawers. And then here's gonna be the stove. So we've got a cool corner cabinet here. And then there's a space because because that's just the way it worked out where we put the window. Kitchen sink and a cabinet for a kitchen sink. And then two more 24 inch cabinets here. Then we've got the island guys, check it out. Two 36 inch cabinets here for the base of the island and then this cool butcher block type counter up here so the idea is here on the island we can put seating on probably th two sides of the island and still work inside of the kitchen and then have the dining room table over here that way we can have guests over then have kids right and kids maybe can sit up here at the island and eat adults can sit over at the dining room table and eat or vice versa right whatever works out the best but it gives us a little bit more space for not only food prep, but also for um, people to come and eat, right? And hang out and have fun here at our place. So that's the kitchen, guys. It's coming out really cool. You want to see more about what's going on here in our homestead? There is a video right over here that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, 
I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second. Mm -hmm.